OpenAI introduces the new O1 Preview and O1 Mini series of AI models that possess reasoning capabilities. Greetings everyone. Today's video focuses on OpenAI's introduction of its new reasoning AI models O1 Preview and O1 Mini, which are said to have made notable strides in problem-solving abilities when compared to earlier models such as GPT-40. While O1 Preview demonstrates superior performance in areas like competitive programming and mathematics, it does not surpass GPT-40 in every regard. OpenAI clarifies that O1 is not a miraculous solution, but indicates promise for future enhancements. These models employ a novel reinforcement learning technique that improves problem processing. However, they currently do not include functionalities such as web browsing and image generation. Over time, independent assessments will be essential to validate OpenAI's assertions. Now, without further delay, let's dive into our discussion. Recently, OpenAI introduced its latest reasoning AI models, known as O1 Preview and O1 Mini, which aim to improve problem-solving capabilities compared to their predecessor, GPT-40. Although these models have made progress in fields such as competitive programming and mathematics, they do not universally outperform GPT-40. OpenAI has emphasized that these promising models represent merely a step toward future innovations rather than the ultimate achievement in AI development. Utilizing a novel reinforcement learning strategy, they offer enhanced problem analysis. However, they do not include features like web browsing and image generation, capabilities that users typically expect from sophisticated models. As users explore and evaluate these assertions over time, independent verification will play a crucial role. Officially named OpenAI01, this AI language model made its debut on Thursday, previously referred to by the internal codename Strawberry. It features notable improvements in reasoning and problem-solving abilities, especially when contrasted with earlier large language models, LLMs. The O1 family has been launched in two versions, O1 Preview and O1 Mini, and is currently accessible to ChatGPT plus users and select API users. According to OpenAI, O1 Preview surpasses GPT-40 on various benchmarks, particularly in areas like competitive programming and scientific reasoning. Nonetheless, initial users have observed that while the model performs exceptionally well in specific tasks, it does not consistently exceed GPT-40 in all situations. In a straightforward tweet, Joanne Zhang, OpenAI's product manager, managed expectations by recognizing the excitement surrounding the release while cautioning users against anticipating a miracle model. She noted that O1 excels in challenging tasks and will keep evolving, yet it is not a universal remedy at this stage. Yang stressed that while the O1 preview model is innovative, users could find themselves let down if they expect it to outshine previous models in every aspect. A remarkable achievement of O1 preview was its notable ranking in the 89th percentile for competitive programming challenges on code forces. In mathematics, the model scored 83% on an exam commonly associated with the International Mathematics Olympiad, far exceeding GPT-40, which only achieved 13%. OpenAI has even asserted that O1, Preview's performance, is comparable to that of PhD students in fields such as physics, chemistry and biology. While OpenAI is keen to showcase these benchmarks as conclusive, such assertions are likely to undergo examination as more independent users evaluate the model's capabilities. The smaller variant, O1 Mini, designed mainly for coding tasks, is priced at 80% less than the O1 Preview model, presenting a more affordable choice for developers. The significant progress in O1 is credited to an innovative training method in reinforcement learning. This approach permits the model to reflect more thoroughly on a problem prior to providing a solution, akin to prompting a model to think step by step for enhanced accuracy. Through this iterative method, O1 can explore multiple strategies and learn from its errors. Nevertheless, AI benchmarks are often unreliable and susceptible to manipulation, meaning that genuine evaluations of O1's abilities will only surface through extended user experimentation. Earlier this year, 
MIT research revealed inaccuracies in OpenAI's benchmark assertions regarding GPT-4, underscoring the importance of exercising caution when interpreting these findings. OpenAI has presented a variety of demonstration videos featuring O1 tackling logic puzzles and programming challenges on its website and social media platforms. Among these demos, one that appeared simple drew significant interest. The model was tasked with counting the R's in the word strawberry. While most models face difficulties with character level distinctions due to the way LLMs tokenize words, O1 successfully counted the letters accurately without any outside assistance showcasing its self-reflective abilities. Prominent individuals in the AI sector have expressed their thoughts on the capabilities of O1 Preview. Ethan Mollick, a professor at Wharton, shared his insights about the model on X, noting that while it does not surpass GPT-4.0 in every aspect, it shines in tackling intricate challenges for LLMs. He described his experience using O1 Preview for various tasks, such as creating a teaching simulator and solving crossword puzzles, which took 108 seconds through several steps. Mollick's practical observations indicate that O1 resembles GPT-4 O, but functions within iterative loops, a concept that was previously examined this year with agentic models like AutoGPT and Baby AGI. Since last November, speculation has surrounded the launch of O1, formerly referred to as Q Asterisk or QSTAR, following reports indicating that OpenAI personnel alerted its board to possible risks linked to the model. In August, it came to light that OpenAI had showcased Strawberry to officials in US national security. While the public has eagerly awaited the model's release, doubts have arisen regarding the actual risks it presents, particularly considering its capability to complete crossword puzzles in just over a minute. The discussion surrounding the anthropomorphization of AI systems continues to be a contentious topic. Critics contend that using terms like thinking or reasoning to describe AI functions can mislead the public, implying that these systems operate similarly to human thought processes when in fact they are more akin to predictive processes. Clement DeLang, CEO of Hugging Face, commented that labeling AI as thinking serves as little more than misleading marketing, aimed at portraying these technologies as more sophisticated than they actually are. In a related vein, AI researcher Simon Willison pointed out that defining the term reasoning in the context of LLMs proves to be quite challenging. The O1 preview model is a significant advancement for OpenAI despite facing some criticism. Nevertheless, it does not include certain features found in earlier models like web browsing, image generation and file uploading. OpenAI has indicated that these functionalities will be incorporated in future updates as the O1 and GPT model series evolve. Currently, although OpenAI has revealed the launch of both O1 Preview and O1 Mini, neither is accessible on the ChatGPT Plus platform. We will share more detailed insights after we have conducted our own tests on the models. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like, share and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.